Coming to you from Studio 703, a show for students, by students. This is Bronco TV. Hey Broncos, and welcome back to Bronco TV. I'm Casey. I'm Mars. And I'm Aiden, and we're at Candy Cane Lane. How, how are you guys enjoying the sights? So creative, colorful, I love it. Speaking of colors, the windows on, here on campus sure are creative. I think it's really important to like connect the students in different ways. All third period classes are encouraged to participate just to show spirit for the holidays. And it's really important for everyone to feel included and feel like they can participate in some way. The Giving Tree is helping families in need enjoy this holiday season. It's a way for the community to help support some of our district families in need. If you're limited on resources, it's stressful all year, but especially the holidays, because usually families want to give their children a nice Christmas. It's really nice that there's nothing like giving versus receiving. Um, I think it's important for people to take mind that the world is bigger than just our surrounding selves and there's a lot of people in need and you start thinking about other people and what they um, may be dealing with. Uh, it, it sort of puts things in perspective sometimes. Principal Becker hosts Coffee with the Principal where parents can voice questions they have about the school. So Coffee with the Principal, it's an opportunity for parents to come in and have some face time with the principal. They know that I care about their kids. I'm a dad, I have teenagers at home. I think it's very important that we have the dialogue between the parents and the school and the teachers um, because it's only going to make the environment better for everybody. When there's communication and you hear other opinions and you hear other ideas, only good things happen. It was a great way for us to kind of get to know our parent group a little bit better and I'm looking forward to having further versions of this type of dialogue in the future. Wow, I'm so glad we got to bond with the principal. Yeah, he's awesome. Did you guys see the choir performance? Yeah, and did you guys also see band and, and orchestra? They absolutely destroyed it. Hey Broncos, our performing arts programs have been working hard to put on shows for us during this holiday season. The dance team's winter concert was a show to remember. We have six different teams on this program. Our hip hop teams are more self-brand and their captains do a lot of the choreography, teaching them, cleaning them. B-boys, same thing. We have different coaches and myself who work with our intermediate JV and TDF. If the team bond is the better, then the performance is better. I think it's really nice because it's like, you know that they're always gonna be there and they're like a different support group. I think it's just like an extra comfort. When you see these kids are coming in every single day, giving their absolute all. It is a safe space for them. It is where they can come and let go and be who they are. Our winter assembly returned this year and we were able to showcase our amazing band, choir, and orchestra. Our band is comprised of 200 members and it's a mixture of wind players and percussion players and color guard members and together they form what we call the Royal Regiment. This is the first time our students have had a chance to perform for the student body, for our students to be able to share their talent and for people on campus to see the hard work that they put into our program. We try to create an environment where kids can come in and feel accepted and thrive musically and as well as personally. We have a concert choir, which is our beginning level choir. That's a non-auditioned group. From there, we have our advanced women's ensemble, which is a more advanced group of treble singers, so sopranos and altos only. And then we have our madrigals, which is our advanced mixed ensemble with the most advanced students uh, singing soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. I always want to make sure that they're not only challenged, but also really interested in the music that they're singing and having a good time. The more time they spend together, the better, the better they sing, really. There's violin one and two, viola, bass, cello. We have section leaders, which is the very front row. Each section has two leaders, and they're in charge of like fingerings, bowings that they write in, and then they share it with the rest of their section. To me, it's family. It's making connections, getting to play together is so much fun. So cold out here. Suck it up. Winter sports like boys soccer are really kicking it off. Have you guys seen basketball? They've been crushing it. 
Hey Broncos, our winter sports season has had a strong start. And our boys soccer team is scoring goals and hope to make league. Our goal for the team this season is definitely to become closer together but ultimately make a CIF final this season. They're working really hard. We've been practicing for the last four weeks. It is a young team. We have a lot of freshmen and sophomores coming back to the team. The team's biggest strength is probably uniting and being very close to each other and playing with each other very well. What we try to, to build in our program is a positivity and that helps with team bonding. You know? So everybody feels good. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes, they feel the support of the rest of the team. Everybody feels safe and they know it's a safe environment and everybody will be supporting each other. So it is easier to become part of a family when you have that uh, kind of positive mindset. Mars, what do you want for the holidays? Um, I want some new books. What are you? I want a new camera. I want a gift card that has been halfway spent. The holidays are so magical. Hey Broncos, it's Roman and I'm back to ask you guys what your favorite part about the holiday season is. What's your favorite part of the festive season? Uh, families coming together and stuff. Yeah. Uh, giving presents to people. I don't know, the vibe, the lights, the Christmas lights are pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Uh, what's one thing you need this Christmas? Ooh, probably a new watch. I kind of broke my old one. Doing what? It just fell off my wrist, like actually. Just um, probably Uggs. I don't really need anything, I just need some money, I guess. Money. Money? <laughs> yeah. 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 I just want to see my family. <laughs> well, I, I got you a little something, I got you a little something. I got you some uh, Among Us plush hangers. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah for you. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. And I, you know, just for you, I got a gift for you. Oh, wow. Uno. Shit's Uno. Oh, thank you so much. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, you want the One thing I want? Yeah. I want the Chargers to beat the Bills. Yes! I agree. Um, I need some more time with my friends and family. Real, that's real. That's real. That's really real. What's the best non-physical gift you've ever been given? What? Like, I need time me and my friends make plans, um, and we can all be there on time in the same spot. That's got to be the best gift. Yeah, that's relatable. Oh, oh the, the love that my family gives me. It's a good answer. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bronco TV. Be sure to like and, and subscribe. subscribe. And have a happy holiday. Sports like boys soccer, a kick, you know. <laughs> okay. are, you, are you ready? I'm Mars. And I'm Maiden. And we're at. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just, just... Thank you.